You guys know what time it is. It's time for some more Ganwujima crazy MMA like Mortal Kombat video game fighting style action in a moat. Surrounded by a moat, a friggin' moat. We don't know what's going on. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. Now we got Kiyoshi Tamura versus Leonardo Brahma. For you old UWF, UWFI fans, Rings fans, that's Kiyoshi Tamura of U Style. I would have loved, I had a Tamura figure, I sold it with my stuff. I had a Tamura action figure. I would have been an honor to fight this guy, but he's fighting a Jeet Kune Do guy, Leonardo Brahma. If you wanna learn more about Jeet Kune Do, you can learn about my video and my uh, Bruce Lee five favorite JKD techniques used in MMA video. You can learn about it in my Jeff Chan versus Jeet Kune Do fighter breakdown video. Anyway guys, here we go. They're fighting in a circle of death. If you haven't seen my other th three videos I've already filmed, and you can win by push out, and I think there's submissions, and you can ground and pound, as, depending on how much time they allow. Probably depends on what country you're from, and uh, it's some really wild stuff. You can win by knockout. You could see couple rare versus praying mantis. We've seen kickboxing versus Indian Kushti wrestling. I kind of messed up in that one. And you see all kinds of crazy styles. All right, let's see what the JKD guy now. Is he fighting strong lead in a Bajong stance? He lands that inside kick. I think he should kick that knee. I think he should use the longest weapon to the closest target. I think he should scream. I think he should poke his eyes out and then straight blast him. We haven't seen that yet. Looks like some kickboxing going on. Jikundo Brahma. Oh, left hook barely landed. Oh, right counter hook. Corkscrew over the top by Tamura san. Right hook, left straight lands. You got the double underhooks here in the red gi is Tamura san. Pummels in. Nice job pummeling in by the Jeet Kune Do guy Brahma. JKD Brahma lands a left knee to the body. Good right hook by Tamura. Needs to get his neck up, his posture up. He was getting his posture broken there. That's not very good. Now, Tamura was one of the early leg lockers, guys. I used to watch Tamura in UWFI and rings. Uh, I believe in UWFI, I believe. And, you know, yeah, because Tamura had that great match with a, a shoulder shark to Cody Ishii to Juji Gatami from Volkan. Oh, my God, is that how I learned that thing that I became famous for? From watching stiff pro wrestling matches? Yeah, perhaps. Only I can make it real. But anyway, here's Tamura circling. Brahma does a back fist. Misses, whiffs the air. Interesting little fighting stance here. Goes for the left hook. Tamora's taking it easy now. I think he's up there in age at this point. Oh, Lama Namanumi hits him with two right hands to the face. Almost makes him deadly Fred. Oh, sloppy entry. He's lucky he didn't get knocked out there. And a bull double ring out. Luckily, there was a little Japanese guy to catch him. I mean, we got a long history of little Japanese guys outside the rings of pride now in the ring out of the Garujima fighting to catch you and save you. Here we go again. I don't know. I was expecting a little more out of Tamura. I think he's my elder. I don't know. I don't know how old he was at this point. Certainly one would think that he has more MMA fighting experience, perhaps not in the short sleeve Gian shorts, but one would think he had more MMA experience than some gaijin living in Japan. They're like, yo, here's some money. We're going to have you fight this guy, which is a great honor to fight in Japan. Fought in Japan, had three pro wrestling matches in Japan. Commentated Pancras live in Japan with a little softer, more realistic style, telling you all the setups and submissions. You might want to check out if you got UFC Fight Pass. Uh, Pancras 270 to 276. Check out Dan the Wolfman's commentary and the, the God and Thunder referee. Well, a different one. Maybe it was replaced. Comes down and breaks it up. It's not the one we've seen earlier. Tamora doesn't know where to go. He's like, what the heck am I fighting in? I don't know what the heck this is. I've had a whole career full of famous martial arts fights, and now I'm fighting in some ring where you can throw each other out like sumo wrestlers. Definitely, yeah. There's a real focus on technique, isn't there? 
clinching up here. Got it basically an over under position. Good right knee, some left hooks to the body. Looks like my second MMA fight there. Oh, nice, nice slip and a counter left long hook there. They're getting busy. Guy moves his feet well, circles off. Ooh, I don't know what those punches were. I think I've seen that outside of 7 Eleven before by some girls grabbing hair. Got a long hook, and then there was a straight vertical punch there, getting busy with the hands here. Tamora says, I'm taking this to the ground. He's caught in a pretty deep guillotine now. He's got to get those legs up there and get a cross guard above the belt line. Or you could do a double grapevine guard. I mean, it is possible to finish the guillotine choke from the double grapevine leg spreader guard. Maybe you could switch it up to double underhooks and do my back breaker. Now they're counting. And since Tamora's not punching, they're probably going to stand it up. If Tamora was landing punches, apparently it can go on if the Japanese guy's landing punches. I'm learning these rules as I go along. Of course, we're having some fun here because Gaurujima no longer exists, I don't believe. But again, this is Kiyoshi Tamura we're talking about. So as you know, after it's all it's interesting to see Tamura in red. Here in the red gi and red shorts. Everyone's a black belt at Garujima. Nice low kick lands there. I mean, this guy does have some striking stills. Just some some of those punch flurries are a little weird, but maybe he's he's hitting from some odd angles. His chin's up. Oh, and he got clocked with counter left hook there. Guys, chin up, no good. High round kick misses. I mean, is this not basically blood sport? I mean, I wouldn't call it Lionheart, but I might call it blood sport. Tomorrow's nose a little bloody, a little busted up. He ain't liking it. His eyes a little swelled up. Guys, what year was Tamar born in? I think I had it on the back of my card. Might have to look that one up. I, I, I think he's he's up there versus this young buck. Oh, I forgot it was supposed to be Juke Kundo. Oh, there we go. Hi, sliding sidekick, just as I say that. Longest weapon, closest target. A little sliding sidekick action. Rama's got a little bounce around looking for that counter right hand there. Led the left hook. I mean, his punches are kind of whippy. They got some sting on it. Boom, double jab. End of the second round here. Tamora's taking a beating. I mean, Tamora's got to have 40, 50 MMA fights and a lot of stiff matches before that where he already knew about getting kicked in the leg hard and kicked in the body hard and beat up pretty good because they were they definitely stiff back in those UWFI and early rings days before, like, rings was real tournament in 2000. Oh, you know where Fedor made his debut. Yeah. Tamora, TK, Yoshi, Kosaka, Volkan. I don't know. Tamora's looking pretty beat up, guys. Oh, here he goes again. All right, they're going back for the third round. Yeah. I'm a little bit surprised. Definitely love for Tamara to win. Now, on all my trips to Japan, I, I never uh, never met him or any of the U file. You style or you file camp guys. Brahma's starting to get some confidence now. And why wouldn't he? He's been landing almost all the strikes. Except for some good counter punches. Nice little punch there. He's got his chin way up in the sky. I wonder if this guy's fought like legit MMA after this. Not that this isn't legit. It's just friggin' crazy. Double ring out. Both would be dead. Your ninja skills are no good. Got to throw the other guy out. Guys, if you want to learn how to fight, look at all my playlists on all kinds of different martial arts. Get my combatives a street jujitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. If you young whippersnappers really want to learn how to defend yourself, or you guys aging like me, you still got to be able to have it if you need it. Got to be able to protect yourself and your family. Tamara throwing some leg kicks there. Looking pretty gassed. Looking pretty gassed. I don't think this one had some uh, 
predetermined outcomes. And Brahma's getting confident and cocky now. His chin's up. Might get countered. Threw a spinning hook kick there a minute ago. Oh, a tornado kick. Way out of range. I think I might have met this guy once. He has some pretty big ears. Oh, Tamara put some heat on that one. Just pulls away from that jab. This guy's relaxed now and he's feeling the groove. I mean, he's actually fought really well in the second and third round. Got a standing guillotine choke here, but it looks like the arm's in. Nice turn to the corner by Tamora. Going to get the takedown. Should go on his side. Of course, if their hand stayed there, then you go right away into a Von Flu choke. I have a video on how to double leg in a Von Flu, how to defend the guillotine, standing guillotine choke in a Von Flu. You might want to check out. It's more in the top loosey goosey half guard here. And going to see another stand up. I'd love to see some crazy Jeet Kune Do action. We did see that sliding sidekick earlier. Ooh, good right hook lands by Brahma. Switching stance now. Shucking and jiving. Well, I think we see the age difference there, guys. I think there's no surprise who's going to win this one. Though I'm surprised because I don't know this guy's full name or uh, if he has a lot of MMA fights. Guys, if you know who it is, I mean, it looks like the guy who got the beat the heck out of Sakuraba and then got his knee broken. I don't think it's the same guy. Looks like a guy I met in Japan in Tokyo once that uh, had trained with Sakuraba. Of course, I trained with Saku for a couple weeks after fighting his student Sato for one hour straight in front of Sakuraba and while Takata was refing. Pretty crazy stuff happens in Japan. Guys, if you like this, thumbs up, share, subscribe. Get down there in the comments and let me know if you want me to do more of Ganwu Jima action. Get my DVD and check out my playlist to learn all the good martial arts action.